Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to buy some ERC20 tokens and then move them onto your Ledger Nano S for safe and secure storage. So let's get going. Okay, so uh, I've had a few of my viewers ask me if I could do a video on how to uh, buy and uh, move ERC tokens and store them properly. So I decided to go ahead and do that today. So the first thing we're going to do is buy uh, an ERC token. I'm going to buy it on Binance. And then after I have purchased it, I'm going to move it over to my Ledger Nano S. And I'm going to show you how you move ERC tokens and how you store them and how you check your balance and all that good stuff. So I'm going to do it on Binance. So uh, let's just get going. Let's go over here to the big screen. And uh, I've decided to buy uh, the BAT basic attention token. No particular reason except that it's good for uh, demonstration purposes. Um, it's cheap and it's available on Binance. So, uh, and it is an ERC token. So uh, I'm not giving investment advice here. Uh, you could use this method to buy any type of ERC token. It'll work for any of them uh, based on how much money you have to spend and how much money you're willing to risk, so on and so forth. Like I said, I'm not advising you to buy this particular token. I'm just using it as an example because it's gonna make things clear for everyone. All right, so uh, the basic attention token, this is their website. And if you wanna go check it out. And the price is still uh, relatively inexpensive. Uh, and the, the reason that I'm doing that is because I wanna make it so that you see that there's a little bit of a quantity. You know, if it were something that were expensive, uh, then I may only be able to buy one or two tokens. In this case, I should be able to buy, uh, you know, a nice amount that we can move over. Keep in mind, when you buy ERC tokens on uh, some of these exchanges, when you go to move them out, you get kind of a high fee. So you take a little bit of a hit when you move them into storage. But, um, you know, I think that most people would, would like to put them into long-term storage and move them. So, uh, and I'm willing to take the hit. Uh, it's not going to be, you know, too much. So anyway, uh, we're going to go over here to Binance. And uh, they do have the BAT token, so uh, I want to buy some. So the first thing I need to do is fund this trade. So I go over here to trade and look down here and see that they have uh, the, the BNB, which is the Binance token. They have the, the BAT to BTC, which is Bitcoin. And they have the BAT to ETH, which is uh, the Ethereum market. So at the moment, I don't have any of those in my uh, trading account. What I have is Litecoin. So I need to uh, exchange my Litecoin for one of those three in order to uh, fund this purchase. So uh, what I'm going to use is the, the BNB token, the, uh, the Binance token. It's just a medium of exchange at this point. So uh, I'm going to go over here to the Litecoin BNB market and I'm just gonna sell all my Litecoin for BNB and I'm gonna do it market so it happens quickly so you can see over here I'm, I'm at the sell Litecoin I'm gonna sell 100% of my Litecoin which is 0.73 it's not a lot but I just want to be able to demonstrate how this works for everyone okay so I'm gonna sell my Litecoin for uh, BNB you can see up here I'm in the BNB market and I'm just gonna click this little button here so that's succeeded and then we can go back over here to uh, our balances and you'll see now uh, my entire balance is in uh, the BNB Binance coin so uh, let's go back over here to the BAT the, the the basic attention token I'll just untick this little box here and now uh, I'm gonna buy this uh, and I'm gonna go to the trading market for it uh, the bat to BNB because now I have BNB in my uh, you know in my account there's an available balance of 11.98 and so I want to buy bat I'm gonna go ahead and do a hundred percent actually let me switch over to market 
so that it happens quickly. I'm going to buy 100% of the bat that I can with the available BNB balance. Uh, okay, uh, I hope this isn't too complicated. All I'm trying to do is just get some tokens in my, uh, my token wallet. So I'm going to hit that uh, buy button here. Uh, okay. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll buy 75%. Maybe that'll be allowed. Okay, so I'm going to lower uh, the balance down. I'm not really sure why it won't allow me to buy all that I'm trying to buy. I'm going to hit buy again and see what happens. Okay, so uh, when I tried to uh, use 100% of my BNB, it wouldn't allow me to purchase. I don't know why. I'm not going to go into it. I just want some of these tokens in my wallet. All right, so uh, well, I bought 75% uh, using my BNB balance. So what... Uh, basically what's going to happen is I'm going to end up with uh, some bat, which is what I was after, and a little bit of the Binance coin left over. Any of my viewers that can explain to me why I wasn't able to use my 100%, uh, you know, throw it up in the comments. I'm not a trading guy. I'm just a mechanics guy. I'm trying to explain to you how to move things around here. All right. So now that I've got my BAT, I want to move it into safe storage. So uh, what I'm going to use is my Ledger Nano S, okay, which I've got queued up and ready to go here. So let's go over to that section. Okay, guys, in order to uh, use ERC20 tokens and to be able to see our balance, we're going to need to view our uh, Ethereum wallet using the My Ether Wallet website. And it's uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, we just need to go to the website and then uh, we're going to check our balance and look at our wallet uh, through the Ledger Nano. Uh, this is pretty secure as long as you're on the right website, this little green label up here, and then make sure you're on myetherwallet.com. And then uh, you're also going to have the added security of your Ledger Nano S as well. All right, so we're going to need to use the My Ether Wallet website because it has the functionality that we need to uh, look at our ERC20 tokens. So we're going to need to go to our ledger. Okay. So we need to enter the Ethereum app. And then in the case of the My Ether Wallet website, we're going to need to go to settings. We'll click both buttons. Click both buttons. All right, and we want browser support to be yes, okay? Because uh, we're going to be using the, that functionality. Okay, so now that we've uh, successfully entered the Ethereum app and made sure that our browser support was enabled, we'll just go over here to uh, view wallet info and uh, choose the Ledger wallet, connect to Ledger wallet, and see we've got the Ledger uh, pre-selected here. We just choose unlock wallet and we can see our account address. And then uh, you can see down here under token balances that I already have some ERC20 tokens in here. And this is the interface that we use to view our balance. Okay, pretty straightforward. So this is the main sending address. It's an Ethereum address. So all we really need to do is send our ERC tokens to this Ethereum address. And when we're using the uh, My Ether Wallet website, we'll be able to view our uh, token balance down here. So what I want to do is just show you the transfer and show you how it uh, ends up showing up down here. All right, so we'll go back over here to Binance and we're going to go over here to our BAT wallet and I'm going to choose withdrawal. All right, and all we need to do is put in the address of our uh, Ledger Nano S uh, wallet. All right, and then I'm going to max it out. And you'll notice there it's charging me 23 of these tokens. So I'm only going to get 210. This was the, uh, the hit that I was telling you about. But uh, I'm not going to concern myself too much with that right now. All right, as you can see, I've got the address filled in. I've got the amount filled in. And then I'm just going to click Submit. All right, uh, Binance wants my Google authentication code. Okay, all right, and then once I enter my uh, 
two-factor authentication, it's going to send me an email to confirm. So I'm just going to go over to another tab on my browser, catch that with that confirm, and uh, that the, the email they sent me and click confirm. All right, and once I've done that, then it'll take me over to the uh, deposits and uh, withdrawal history page. And it shows that uh, the BAT that I sent, the 210 tokens, to this address is now processing. Okay, so we can go back over here to my Ether wallet. And uh, now uh, we have a particular token that we want to take a look at. It's a BAT token. So let's show all tokens down here at this button. And we're just going to scroll down here to the Bs. And where it says BAT, uh, we're going to choose click to load. Now there are qu there are a few, quite a few web uh, tutorials that you might find that will show you how to manually add your token. Uh, there is no reason to go through all that if it's in here uh, as a default. So you want to check to see if it's in in here as default. And they have quite a few tokens that are already in here. So all you have to do is scroll down here to the token you're interested in. They're in alphabetical order and we just choose click to load and there you go hey they're already there so uh, as you can see I got my 210 BAT tokens and they're safe and secure in my Ledger Nano S now I can scroll back up here and choose show only balances and you'll notice now that I have several ERC tokens that are being safely stored in this address on my Ledger Nano S Okay, so here we go. Uh, there's my BAT. I got my 210.7 BAT, and they're uh, stored safely and securely. So uh, that's it. That's all you really need to do. Now, uh, I'll also mention that if you were to try to send Ether and tokens uh, when you were signed into this wallet, I'll go ahead and sign back in here. You'll notice over here uh, in this gray pull-down that I have all of the ERC tokens available that are stored in this wallet. So if I need to send any particular one out, uh, like for example, if I want to send my BAT tokens out to somewhere else, I can choose a different address and send them out. And it's as simple as that. Uh, and I also would like to point out that the uh, Ethereum uh, balance up here this 2.16 ethereum balance is not affected by these balances down here these are all uh, separate balances that can be shown in this little interface down here in the token balance window so uh, that's it guys so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you learned a little something I know I did if you like my videos give me a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I love it when people subscribe to my channel. And when you do subscribe, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button, which will allow you to be alerted anytime I post a new video. So once again, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again.